Hey guys, what's going on today? Got a little project here. We're gonna put a, a trail can on the links just to give it a little more sound. So we're gonna get rid of the stock one. It's buried in here somewhere. Whoops, that's fall. We're gonna get rid of the stock can and we're gonna replace it with this MBRP can here. Oh look, it's shipped with a dent. We're gonna start by pulling off the side panels. Then we need uh, one of those 227s. Okay. Looks like this, you, you might not have to take as much shit off. Xavier? Because I think you might just have to use it. I think this is one panel. This this piece here and here is one panel. Looks like it. Try taking these two screws. No, it's, it's going to come off the same as yours, I guarantee it. Try this first though. There's no way, Mitch, because look, it snaps in at the front still. See? Yeah, I know, but it's it's completely separate. This whole piece is completely separate. There's no way. I guarantee it bolts in from the bottom. Okay. We can try it. I'm pretty sure. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, look at all the salt. Oh wow. That's bad. Oh yeah, it'll probably still be still can't get in there anyway. The whole thing, you guys. Yeah. So I mean, just... you could get to everything from here without having to really do it. Yeah, but I want to get that shield back on properly. Let's you're, just you're, you're going to cut that shield. Yeah. Boy, you got to take that off. I was just going to leave it on. I was just putting it on. It's already on. Okay. Here. Here. There's one. Two. That, that's not one. I think it's three. Okay, yeah. Might have more screws than yours does. Yeah. I think that's the last one. <laughs> oh, wait, I have to take this uh, clamp off. Hose clamp here for your air intake. Got to back that off. Yeah, I'm going to the headlights. Oh, that should be loose. Headlights out. Mass airflow sensor. Now it should just come out. Just grab this. So we're just going to pop this heat shield off, one, two. Okay. 
Feel how heavy this one. It's about the same weight yours was. Well, it's probably the exact same one. Oh. I wish I had a scale so that I could check. I'd like to see. Okay, so we need. Let me see that. Oh, okay. So we got our. Look at all this salt that came with delivery here. We use a couple of these rubber isolators. This one. For the front here, and this one with the bolt spacer right there. And honestly, I think that's the only two we reuse. You gotta do your temp sensor. I know, I'm just gonna set this in and see if I can do. Because I'd like to install the temp sensor afterwards so that I know what way I'd like to route it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the instructions didn't say that I had to use the spacer. It doesn't actually say. So, I'm a little confused there. But we'll figure it out. Just ram this home. There we go. Perfect. Throw some springs on. Okay. Do you know how I broke it? So there's a funny mishap that happened here. I don't know if we got it on recording or not. I don't think we did. No. I was uh, walking beside the sled like this, backing it out of the trailer, and the the ski fell off the side of the door because the sled was all the way over, and the door cable actually snapped the tie rod right in half. So uh, I haven't even rode this sled yet, and I'm gonna have to order a new uh a new tie rod for it but you know shit happens one it's the dangers of, of early season riding <laughs> that's in there nice and tight exhaust is in the hole not moving around. Perfect. Makes me happy. Look at all the salt in here. That doesn't make me happy. I cannot believe they towed this sled to me open. Yeah, that thing sucks. We want this off. Just gonna put some anti seize on all of this stuff. Can you <coughs> use the spacer? I am gonna start with the spacer because they probably wouldn't have shipped it if it didn't need it. I did not see it in the instructions that it said it had to have the spacer. In fact, the instructions didn't mention the spacer at all. But you know what? We're going to put it back in just in case. Then the only other thing we need to do is cut this heat shield to fit wherever that went over here somewhere. Oh fuck, at least yours is the right shape though. Yeah, your GGB yeah. one didn't uh, didn't quite come in the right shape for this. So that'll fit. And as long as I I don't know. Put a hole there. Oh yeah. Somewhere right right in there. Yeah, so just stick that on in there and Oh yeah, 
couldn't have fucked that up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was not that was not my best guesstimation. <laughs> oh fuck. Well you know what that means. No heat shields. Gonna need another hole. <laughs> oh god. What have you been drinking today, sir? No, not a beer, that's probably the problem. There we go. And uh that's your key. Hey, I never claimed to be a fabricator. They should have put the hole in it for me and sent me a new heat shield when they sent me a can if they wanted it to look good. Well, like a glove, eh? I could, couldn't have done a better job myself. <laughs> now we're gonna cut a hole in this. Let's just poke a hole in there. I impress myself every day. <laughs> and they let you fucking teach people. It doesn't get any better than that. Where's the other one? I don't know, right there. As bad as you. Look at that. Use protection. <laughs> oh. Oops. Hurt right away. Oh yeah. At least it's still new enough that it's not seized. Put that in there. Thread that in there. Like that. Uh, you know what I'm gonna use that tape for? Right here. This wire right there is quite close to the can now and there's nothing surrounding it. I don't really think any of this is necessary, but it tight up there. It's not gonna melt. But they gave me the tape. I don't know where it goes, so it's going there. <laughs> Good enough. Well, that should. Okay, guys, we'll be back in a second when we reassemble the top of the snowmobile. Should just take a few minutes. If you saw it come apart, it goes together the same way, just in reverse. Thank <laughs> you. 